assalamu alaikum students i hope you all are fine as in our previous videos we have completed our second chapter which was neko bobinus so today we have to complete the workbook task or and workbook questions of that chapter so i want you all to take out page number 6 second chapter take out page number 6 okay so neko bobinus here are some questions and here are some kind of exercises we have to complete them okay first there is a question converting into statements questions commands and as we have discussed the form of sentences in our previous video so here are some sentences we have to change them okay so first of all there is a sentence okay here are all the sentences are in exclamation form okay so what you have to do you have to change them in a statement form or in a <coughs> command form okay first of all there is a sentence what a nuisance what a nuisance as you see there is an exclamation mark at the end so it, we might get know that this is a sentence of ex, uh, exclamation form okay so what you have to do you have to change it into ex, uh, into statement form you have to write it down it is a great nuisance it is a great nuisance okay we have changed it into statement form let's move to the next one how strange to see you here how strange to see you here you have to write it down in the line it is a strain it sorry it is strange to see you here it is strange to see you here come on to the next one what wonderful weather we are having what wonderful weather we are having you have to write it down you have to write it down. you have to write it down we are having such a wonderful weather we are having such a wonderful weather come on to the next one we talked 20 miles we are very tired you have to write it down after walking 20 miles we were very tired okay after walking 20 miles we were very tired come to the next one what nonsense you are talking what nonsense you are talking you you have to write it down you are talking a lot of nonsense as we have changed it into statement form okay come on to the next one attention attention this is a statement form as you can see there is a exclamation mark at the end now you we are changing it into command form all right <clears throat> so what we are going to write it please pay attention please pay attention as we have changed it into command form okay come on to the next one run quickly run quickly you have to write it down try to run quickly try to run quickly how come on to the next one how wonderful you are how wonderful you are you have to write it down you are a wonderful person you are a wonderful person i hope you all get clear with this part now let's move towards part b which is on page number 7 dictionary work put the following words into alphabetical order and write a definition for each okay so here are some words as you can see undergrowth summer bold completely comrade remind okay first of all you have to put them in alphabetic order okay so as you know that b after a it comes b so bold comes first then completely as it's it is starting from c as it is starting from c so uh, completely comes second on the second number then comrade uh, make them uh, number 1 then number 2 then number 3 theek hai bold is on first completely is on second then comrade is on is on third then remind is on fourth then summer is on fifth and then undergrowth is on sixth all right i hope you are get clear now what i am going to say is you have to write down the meanings uh, sorry you have to write down the definitions of these words as these words are so easy so what you are going to do is you have to write down the meanings and definitions of these of each word okay in these lines so this is a kind of a short homework for you okay you have to write down the definitions of each word over here okay now let's move towards part c okay, students so let's move towards part c now uh, here is learning about language Some of the following are not complete sentences. Can you say why they are not complete? Okay, as you can see, here are some sentences and they are incomplete. Why they are incomplete? Because uh, here and um, they didn't uh, 
<coughs> mark any it's in some places they didn't mark uh, helping verbs and they didn't and they did also they didn't <coughs> mark uh, appropriate words okay so you what you have to be, do is you have to make them proper and you have to make them complete as well okay so and um, we are starting with the first sentence and we have to make them complete and appropriate okay so let's move toward the first sentence which is the boy is speaking to my brother and sit sister sitting on the swing so the boy is speaking this is not appropriate you have to write it down the boy is speaking okay you have to mention is as in helping verb over here you have to write it down with your lead pencil is on the uh, over here the boy is speaking to my brother and sister sitting on the swing okay let's move toward the next one he flies aeroplanes he flies aeroplane uh, sorry aeroplanes so uh, this is the complete sentence and it is also right so let's move towards the next one the runners tired and thirsty after their long race over the hills and through the valleys okay so uh, it should be uh, appropriate when we have to uh, add were over here you have to write it down just like this the runners were tired okay the runners were tired after comma you have to write it down were okay w e r e you have to write it down after comma were the runners were tired and thirsty after their long race over the hills and through the valleys okay okay so let's move towards the next one when we change about the letter of the letters of word or phrase to make another word or phrase okay so this is not appropriate sentence you have to change it when we change around the letters when we change you have to underline the word about and you have to uh, write it down around in <coughs> instead of it okay uh, you have to write it down around around a r o u n d okay you, uh, you have to write it down like this yeah, and then the letters to word or phrase to make another word or phrase called anagram okay so at the end you have to write it down uh, called anagram okay so at the end you have to write it down called anagram as this is the definition of anagram okay you have to write it down when we change around the letters of word or phrase to make another word or phrase it is called anagram okay let's move to the next one if we don't go to the police station now if we don't go okay let's move to where the next one if we don't go to the police station now so this is a sentence uh, which is incomplete so you have to write it down after this um, if we don't go to the police station now we will be restless write it down in front of this sentence or at uh, the bottom of the sentence if we don't go to the police station now we will be restless r e s t l e w s okay if we don't go to the police station now we will be restless come on to the next one by watering it you can help it grow by watering it you can help it grow this is the appropriate sentence so there is not any change you have to make it okay in this sentence come on to the next sentence it is of no use to anyone it is of no use to anyone this is also a pro appropriate and complete sentence so uh, we have to uh, don't uh, we don't have any use to make it change okay we are not uh, making any change in this sentence come here this is also appropriate which is the last one and we are not making any change in this in this sentence also okay so let's move towards the next page which is page number eight rewrite the incorrect sentences make sure you write them complete sentences okay students so, so what you have to do is the sentences which are um, incomplete over there and uh, over here you have to rewrite them in this page okay on part two and in these lines you have to write it down these sentences on the page on this page over here on page number eight though only you have to write it down those sentences which we uh, have made uh, changes in the in those sentences okay you have to write it down only those one 